What's up, badass nerds? This is a PSA for those people out there who don't know how to shut their fucking mouths. Disclaimer. This video is not me being dramatic. It's not trying to get attention from people. It is a serious video that I hope people will take seriously. I don't want your pity. I don't want anything. I just I just want you to listen and maybe learn something. That's it. I'm about to tackle a very heavy subject matter. No pun intended. Eating disorders. Yay. So, yeah. If, uh, if you're looking for a fucky video about happy bullshit, then this is not it, and you should probably turn away. So, let's get into this bullshit. So, I haven't talked about it on my channel before. Uh, I've alluded to it, but I've never said it, like, for what it really was. Um, I have battled with anorexia, um, in the past, like, three years. Uh, that's how I lost so much weight. Uh, I... I mean, I got real depressed because I got stuck in a hospital and then stuck in a nursing home. And I just didn't want to eat. And I just, <laughs> I just, so I didn't. I didn't eat. And I lost like a hundred pounds. And like, I was happy about it. Uh, which obviously I shouldn't be but I'm happy that I'm not huge anymore but the way that I went about it obviously wasn't good I just barely ever ate and I'm at a point now where I actually eat every day like I would forget to eat that's how little it was on my mind that's how much I cared about food I just would f it would come to the end of the day and I'd be like oh I forgot to eat and it wasn't even like oh shit oh my god I forgot to eat like it's just like oh okay and I just well I just didn't fucking care and I know now that I, I need to eat in order for my wound to heal. And so I have actually been eating every day now and I actually get hungry and, and I get cravings for food. Like, Whereas before, I, I was afraid to eat anything because I was afraid it would affect the number on the scale. I got to a point where I, I lost so much weight and the thought of eating just sent me into like this spiraling, just like anxiety. Just, I was so so anxious about putting anything inside my body so I would go days without eating and then like I would eat one day and be like okay since I ate like one day then I have to go a couple days without eating like it was it was it was bad it was real bad so <clears throat> I'm I'm definitely 
I'm a lot better now, and I understand an anorexic's viewpoint now. I'm still not thin. I'm like 150 some pounds, and I am pretty comfortable at this weight. Like, could I, would I want to be thinner? Sure. But I, I'm okay like this. I know, I understand, like, they don't want to eat because they're afraid they'll, if they, they gain one pound, then they'll just keep gaining more and more weight, and that's what terrified me. So, so let's get to the part where people don't know how to shut the fuck up. The other day, I went to the vending machine and I got a Hot Pocket and like a couple other things and I brought them upstairs and I asked one of the aides to put the Hot Pocket in the microwave for me and this is what she says to me she says don't you ever get tired of eating Bitch, what? And when she said that, I looked at her and I went, What the fuck? And she was like, Every time I see you, you're eating. And I'm just like, Fuck. Fuck. Fuck you. Like, I was like flabbergasted. That, that one little thing just, just even now it just petrifies me and it gives me anxiety and like it makes me not want to eat anymore again and like I just I didn't even know what to say and it's like how do you bring up like anorexia to somebody like how do you tell somebody like what they did wasn't okay because they don't fucking know you and they don't know your story and they don't know what you've been through and what you're going through so like I didn't say anything to her that day but the next day I did and I told her like yo I I've had like problems with an eating disorder like what you said was not fucking okay and it makes me like not want to eat again and she's like uh oh, you ate days to tell me first of all it was this, the next day and she's like uh just like stop talking about it like you told me now I know just stop fucking talking about it <laughs> bitch if you don't like I hope the people that are watching are just like, what the fuck? Because that is how I feel about this fucking situation. Just like, what the literal fuck is wrong with you? And let me just, okay, let's get into fucking keeping your fucking mouth shut when you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So here's the thing. People hide things very well. I mean, I didn't, I didn't really hide that I didn't eat a lot. It was just like, nobody noticed, you know? Nobody really cared. Not that they didn't care, because, like, people like my mom, um, when she was here, she would, like, make sure I ate while she was here. But that was, like, once a week, and, like the aides that knew me well would like try to push me to eat but like there's only so much that you can do for somebody people have to want to fix things for themselves like for their own well-being you can't make someone change just like you can't make a heroin addict quit heroin. You can't make someone with an eating disorder s 
start or stop eating so much because it goes both ways like you you can't make them change and do what you want them to do like you can't shove food down a person's throat uh, or you can't like keep food from people if they are a binge eater you just can't like it's <laughs> because I didn't change until I was ready until I really realized what extent my anorexia had gone but when that aide said that to me don't you ever get tired of eating like everything just became really clear like it because the fear inside me when she said that the fear of gaining weight the fear that people might think that I eat too much and might think that I'm fat just the unadulterated fear inside of me that I felt made me just like snap and I was just started I just started to realize like I really have a problem like I have a really bad problem with food and with eating and it was much worse before but it's still not good now so here's a message for people who want to put their fucking two cents in don't. Just fucking don't. If you don't know somebody, if you don't know what they're going through, what they've been through, what hell they put on themselves, don't talk. Don't fucking speak. Don't say a goddamn thing. You have no idea what's inside of a person's head, what can make them snap, what can make them suicidal, what can make their fucking disease so much worse? Because what that girl said to me, if I hadn't been in a good place, I would have, I would have gone 10 steps back and I, I would be full blown anorexic again not eating at all like maybe every three days but I was I was in a good place but you don't know what you can do to people with your words that was not okay you you don't know people's if you don't know people's backstories you don't know them even if you do know them really well if you're afraid for them because you see that they're maybe not not doing well for themselves like and you you see that they don't eat say something but if you don't know somebody's struggle do not comment on their food consumption and keep it to your fucking self because you don't know the fucking damage that you could do with one goddamn sentence because that shit almost tore me apart and could have made me revert back to what I was. And that's not going to help me at all in the long run. You, if you're living with an eating disorder, please, 
please just think about what you're doing to your body and think about what it would do to your family and friends if they knew that if they knew that you were hurting yourself through starvation through binge eating just think about your life and I know I can't make you change because nobody can make me change until I wanted to but just take stock of your life and figure out if it's really worth it. Like this video, comment below if you have questions or your own story because I'd, I'd really like to read that. I read them. Subscribe if you're not already. If you are subscribed, hit the bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. Keep being badass. Keep being nerdy. Much love and peace out, y'all.